we've been working on this loading shovel for hours. I'm probably gonna say years. Turn it on. Oh. All right, yeah. I've just been pressing a button all day. <coughs> but I'm on the pump tomorrow. We're at a job and um, it's just a mud pit there. It's gonna be chaos, but hopefully we don't um, go the way that I'm assuming because he's got a back way and um, and then he's got the front way, which we, which we went last time. But he doesn't want us at the front. Um, supposedly, he wants us at the back. But I don't think we're going to have enough pipe, but we'll see. Get that. Look, you don't fall in. Don't drop my phone in there. Did the 200 kg deadlift. Got deadlifts today after work, after the button pressing. It sounds a bit random, but I'm, I can't believe how good I am at skipping. I can do all the tricks in the book. I, there was a skipping rope at the gym yesterday, I picked it up, and I was like Mike Tyson. But the only thing I can't do, which they have at the gym, boxing wise, they've got a, um, one of those speed balls, and I'm absolutely crap at that. I can't, I can't do that at all. But, um, I'm obviously gonna get better. I can do it, yeah, but really slow. I need to work on my rhythm. But, for footwork, I'm really good at skipping. It takes out of you cardio wise as well. And I recently downloaded ChatGPT and then there's ChatGPT telling me advice um, about how to get the 100 kilo bench press. It's got pretty good advice but I already know most of it that it was telling me but depending on how fatigued I am this week through work then I'm going to add another bench day. But, um, I'm going to add, so I'm going to do Monday, which is a um, which is a really heavy bench day, where I'm going to use leg drive and use everything on the floor, and then Thursday or something, which is two days rest, I'm going to do um, <clears throat> bench again, but I'm going to be using more chest, um, because I'm going to have my feet up on the bench, because what I've noticed is I've been relying on leg drive and triceps to bench press. So now I'm going to be using more of a wide grip and um, and then pressing that off my chest with no leg driving. I know I'm going to be pressing less weight, but hopefully in the long run I'm stronger. I got my bottle that I was telling you about. <sighs> right here. My fuel that I have been drinking. I need to get at least two litres in a day, which is optimal. I recently brought 
a new flask for the uh, for the road for the travels at work. It's called a moon. It's, it's like a moon brand. It's a brand. A brand's called Moon. Yeah. And um, it's meant to be a non-spilling flask that you um, that you can just drink as if like as if it's like a cup. And it's got a thing that you press. I'll show you in a minute. This is the fast guy I was on about. Here. It's leak proof, got that there. That um, you can drink out of this, like that. And when you turn it off, look. It's not meant to do that, but yeah, it, it doesn't spill. That was just the, the bit that I didn't drink. So yeah, it's pretty expensive though, but it's worth getting. expensive though but it's worth the money if you if you're into your coffee and your cups of tea but um yeah i got a flask which is good and um so before i had a flask i had a massive absolutely massive um sort of camping flask that you unscrew and it turns into a cup there's two cups on each side and it um and you can pour like say the coffee is like two liters of coffee and you pour it in but the thing is every time i go to drink it it gets too hot it doesn't cool down it's that good it doesn't cool down but the ones i got now um it, it probably stays hot for about three hours and then by then it's pretty pretty nice to drink which is good but i don't i'm not a coffee fanatic i don't really drink much coffee but that's just what i'm saying because i bought that sometimes i have tea sometimes i have coffee but yeah. Okay, the filming device that I'm that I'm using right now to film is on five percent. <laughs> so I haven't obviously got long to record. So I'm gonna get the good bits in. I like right? the good bits. I've been um so what what's been going on um after work? What are my activities that I do after after, after I go to the gym? I've been watching a bit of Jimmy Carr bit of stand-up comedy and um, it's pretty entertaining but after a while it gets so boring because it's just a lot of the same jokes and um, yeah I never used to like it but obviously as you get older your taste changes also because I'm I have to be more, more independent now because I'm I've left school when I'm um, almost an adult I have to buy my own stuff don't I for work so I obviously ruined my my gloves that I got um, handed to me because um, I had a work pack and I obviously ruined them and I have to buy my own now and I had, a, I had to buy a load of gloves from tool station and some air defenders air defenders yeah and um, you don't want to buy stuff for work for some reason but for some stupid reason but you're at work all the time so you may as well um, you may as well buy stuff um, so that you have a so that you have a good working environment because you don't want to be at work um, in torture because you don't have a glove so you obviously want to buy stuff but then you have people that take that far too far and buy wear massive arctic gloves everywhere they go um, driving the lorry wearing massive arctic gloves we had a driver that did that before <coughs> he looked like a polar bear with his gloves on and he had, his, he had his jacket on. You'd think he weighs like 100 kilos in his jacket, but then he took it off and he, he's a skinny wretch. And he has to use so much safety. I understand, but, uh, but I just think that's just pointless. And then you've got people on the other spectrum that don't even wear gloves and their hands and mangled. And um, it was a funny comment that the boss put up um, the other day on someone's post, called someone's Facebook post. Someone posted a video, a picture of their hand saying, this is a hard working man um, providing for his kids. And he put, could have done it with a pair of gloves. That's right, could have done it with a pair of gloves. It's only like one pound 80, yeah? And he wants to mangle his hands up. But you can still do the same job, but 
you want tough hands, but not manly hands, is what I'm saying. So, recently watched a film called The Phenomenal, yeah? Some of you, um, absolute G's out there might know what that film is, but, um, watched it and it really opened your mind about, about stuff, because, apparently, the human, the human race doesn't use 100% of their brain, they use like 20 of it or something like that, but um, in, in the, I'm not I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah, and I've started learning Spanish now. I've started um, I've started doing being more productive with my time because we've only got a limited amount of time on the earth. Yeah, and um, why would you want to spend that? GTA customizing that character, customizing your own character online when you could be doing that in real life, building up your own character. Real life GTA. Obviously, there's punishments for your actions, but there's nothing stopping you doing whatever you want in life. Yes, and I'm at a, doing a pump job today now. It's the next day because my the battery died on my phone, so now I'm sitting in the pump. We're um. We're at the petrol station, yeah, gas, the gas station, and um, we're just fueling up in the HGV bit of the gas station. I'm going to try and set up quick today, usually I just can't, I'm a bit tired from the gym, blah blah blah, but yesterday I, my, I didn't have a, I didn't go mental on my back day. You know some days when you go to the gym you just can't be asked when you start work and I just could not be asked to go to the gym. Um, <clears throat> I went there and I, I just trained till I couldn't be asked, and then I and then I went home. All right, it's one of the next days, and I've um, acid the volumetric concrete lorry. I've got acid uh, like Breaking Bad. Jesse wanted to get like a plastic container to put the body in, yeah, um, and it, it there's a certain plastic. I think it's hydrochloric acid, and we've got it. Yeah, and it's, it is a certain, um, you have to have it in a certain plastic container, and it prop, I had to wear a mask and all that, and, um, it smells like egg when it's, when it's burning, it goes, psh, it smells like egg, it like, um, <clears throat> it all steams up, like, it's burning the concrete off it, that's why we use it, or well, you can use it for something else, but, um, yeah, I'm just sat in here waiting for the acid to, to do its job, I have to wait 20 minutes. There's like six minutes left, and I'm eating a waitrose, roast chicken, an avocado sandwich. All right, let's take a bite. It's waitrose as well, so waitrose is all quality, isn't it? But I'm all I always think that waitrose is just Morrison's stuff, um, Morrison's food just branded differently. I'm going to be driving this soon when I turn 17, this pump. <clears throat> they let me drive it, they let me reverse it um, into this parking bay. And this pump stalls easily. It's not my driving, this pump stalls easily. What I do, from there I drive there and then I reverse tight next to that lorry in here. Sometimes I do it in one hit and sometimes I have to take a shunt. The avocado and chicken sandwich is not all that. It's not all that. The rating, you may ask. The rating. I'm going to say the rating. Out of 10. The chicken and mayo one's better. But out of 10. Probably about a 6 in all honesty. Because it's not, that, it's not all there for me. I want something with a little... It's got crunch, yeah. It's got crunch. It's got it's got mayonnaise to keep so it's not dry. But I'm not too sure about the avocado. The avocado just needs to be ripened a little bit more. I also brought for my lunch, for my snack, because I'm only here for like two hours washing the lorry. I brought some chicken, tomato and basil pasta right and um 
not too sure about the tomato in it because I had, I have, I've had like two of these already and um but guess what I forgot a fork I forgot something to eat it with I've got nothing in my bag so it looks like I'm gonna have to make something doesn't it I'm gonna have to make something oh my word I didn't pay for this but who on earth would pay three pound for this sandwich three quid from Waitrose do you know what I could get I could almost almost get a whole Big Mac for this I could get a Big Mac burger yeah which is a lot better than this for for less than this just a burger you can get you can get these for like one one pound something in Tesco's or a three pound meal deal you can get a whole meal deal yeah from Tesco's for less than this couldn't you all right that's going to that's going in the bin but guess what I've got another one of these sandwiches after as well I've only gone and brought another one because I thought they'd be nice because I like having oh with black pepper mayo it gives it a little bit of a kick doesn't it a little bit of a kick I like avocado this is what you use avocado this is what you have avocado with it's you toast you toast your um you toast your bread I have it pretty much toasted almost burnt so my bread is like that yeah and then you have a nice butter a nice full fat butter on the on the bread then what you do is you get some avocado you get a whole avocado cut it in half and um, take the obviously take the pip out which is that big the ball you scoop it out with a spoon put it in a bowl <clears throat> get a fork mash it up in a bowl yeah make sure it's ripe it has to be ripe you have to squeeze it and it needs to be tender yeah and then you've got the avocado in the bowl then what you do is get a knife get the avocado spread it along the bread get make make sure you be really generous and spread it all over the bread all around the corners then you get you get you make some eggs make I, I, it's neater it's neater with um with fried egg on top of it and that's, and that's easier but scrambled egg it tastes a little bit better in my opinion but I just use fried egg you get a fried egg put it on top of the bread get another fried egg put it on top of the bread what you do this is a Gordon Ramsay style what you do make sure you don't put enough you don't put loads of oil in the pan when you fry the egg otherwise it will make the bread it'll make the bread really um it will make the bread really 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 soggy and you don't want to eat soggy bread do you so that's what you do and it is so nice that's a good breakfast four of those is a good breakfast you're you're set for the day you're set to have a you're set to be on the pump that's a concrete pumping breakfast right there this is basically my brunch what i've got here and i'm gonna go home and have another thing something else to eat Whoa. But I've got legs today. I've got legs. I'm trying to do chest day twice a week. And do you know what I tried yesterday? I didn't use any leg drive. I didn't use any leg drive when I'm doing chest. Because what I've noticed is I'm relying on leg drive and my triceps to heavy bench. So. <sighs> I've been. Um, using wide grip yesterday I did wide grip with my feet on the bench and if you try that yeah if you try that you are guaranteed to use less weight but why I'm doing that is because um because I want to strengthen my chest more because I've noticed that I'm using more of my triceps and more of my legs so if I do that I'm strengthening my chest more so I get so then when I want to go heavy and I use my leg drive then I'll notice that I've gained a lot of strength so I'm gonna do that for a few weeks and see how see how stronger my chest gets and then I'll do heavy bench with leg drive that's a good way to go about it it's really humbling though when you lift your legs up on the bench because the leg drive plays, plays a massive role in it 
some people find it easier to bench really wide grip but I find it better to use my triceps I I can't for some reason I think my triceps are stronger than my chest because so, you know when you're failing sometimes I push with my triceps but that's why I get a stronger chest this whole yard is a mud pit look at the state of that it's a whole mud bath look at the state of that mud there underneath the lorry it's a concrete company yeah and we haven't even concreted it yet concrete tid it yet but look at this so this is a before and after because I'm about to wash the lorry this is before before yeah and this and this is after <laughs> <laughs>